gals, Nary here from Drag Queen Gaming. It's Sylvie Man's Word of the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Lust Shards, Aiden's Path. <laughs> the hell am I saying? Not Aiden's Path. Tate's Path. So, y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, we're up. And let's go. Alright. Really? Huh. I know. It sounds too stupid to even joke about. To even joke about that. Okay, I'm pretty sure he was guarding my door. That's my theory, too. So the headmaster knew about the door. Wonder who was supposed to come along to relieve the cat from guarding. Now you see how unfair. Now you see how it wasn't fair? Yes? You don't. Ah, uh, I don't. Ah! The point was that I had no business guarding a dumb door at that time. It was just unfortunate timing. Anyone could have been in that position if they were around. Instead, they had to make the one person who's too busy to guard a door do the job. What were you busy with? That's a secret. Anyway, when I came back, the headmaster was furious and the door wasn't there anymore. I mean, how was I supposed to know someone was going to steal the whole do the whole room anyway? To be fair, if he told me to guard it so the door wouldn't go anywhere, I would have left my post even faster. And probably called the psychic ward. Was it his fault we gave this fish? You're right. You shouldn't have been punished for something that's barely your fault. Students were supposed to be gathered in the auditorium at that time anyway, so technically the headmaster broke the rules too by keeping you there. Yeah! They made Jim late for the gathering too. I'm glad you understand. Hey, how long have you been wandering through the hallways? Uh, about 20 minutes. And how many people have we seen so far? Zero. It bent me over and fucked me sideways. What? Right now? Figure of speech. Oh. What does it mean? It means I can't believe this crap. Maybe he was right. Maybe this is just futile. Mine goes back to the headmaster's handsome smug face. For some reason it was making me a little mad. Oh no, he's not right. Let's quicken the pace. We're finding someone. No, everyone and filling up that list. This is the perfect time to use one of my support abilities. Speed boost. Will, will it work on a broom? Let's find out. Whoa, what's happening? I'm putting the same amount of magic into flying, but we're going twice as fast. This would be so cool if I wasn't able to do that on my own. Love interest impressed Simi successfully. Don't just stand there making sarcastic comments. Do something to help. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Search the area and find traces for getting life and guide me to them? Just a thought. Ugh, fine. I'll help you get your pussy out of detention. You're lucky I'm, in a good, I'm good at spells like that. And that is, is a pretty smart suggestion. Here, x-ray vision to see all life forms of life. Ew, that's a lot of rats in the walls. Those are insects, actually. Ew! Huh? Well, what's wrong? I mean, yay! This is really fun. Hey, why don't we check that classroom at the end of the hall? I have a good feeling about that room in particular. Okay. And people say I'm the weird one. I step off the room and get to the door, realizing only now that I'm back on my feet that I'm tired. Fatigued, even. My legs are shaking, I just can't catch my breath. Why the hell did this happen? You enchanted a magical object with a speed boost that's meant for people, dipshit. You also made me cast a somewhat power-hungry spell. I was gonna say something, but I thought maybe you have some special abilities under your sleeves. Damn it! Oh god, my nose. I drag myself to the door and we enter the classroom as a, a classroom I so randomly picked out. Inside are five people playing a tabletop game around a large table. They're all petrified and placed by our sudden appearance. Aww. A small dog with round glasses and high-waisted pants. A ginger rabbit with a bowl cut. A chubby fennec and suspenders. A tall but sheepish-looking goat. And last but probably also least, a very awkward caracal. Even with the lack of energy, adrenaline still made me open up the door a little too fast and too hard, startling everyone in the room, including Tate. <sighs> Hi? Hey? Huh? <sighs> Ha! Ha! It's like, no one water time. Mm. Oh, that is a weird water. Seven people in a room now awkwardly stare at each other. Everyone waiting for the initiator to explain why the two new arrivals are here. That's you. You're the initiator. So hurry up! You, you want to play Nuts of Nightfallen with us? Mm -hmm. Oh, are the nuts going in the Nightfallen? What is this place? 
Are you like a club or something? Huh? Oh, yeah, well, not really. We gather once a week and play in and in and in together. It's usually on Sunday, but that test will ruin our plans. We're doing it early. What's nuts and night falling? It's kind of like a high fantasy action packed dating sim. Sim? A simulator. It's, it's an imagination game. You're pretending to go on dates? Super cool dates. I'll be married to a dragon this session if everything goes well. Wow. Isn't it cool? Huh. <sighs> I'm Benji, by the way, says the little dog. Uh, my name's Ghoulie, exclaims the Fennec excitedly. Uh, uh, Apollo, hi, as a, as a goat tells us. Um, Cal, I'm Cal, the feline spoke. I'm Goblin the Third, the rabbit says with a slightly a slight rasp, sickly rasp in his voice and sniffling his nose. Cool name. Do you not short it anything? No. Awesome. Who named you? It's like an homage to my great-grandfather that died in the war or something. I don't know. I never really cared for family drama. Sick. I should take notes. You're all already friends on the first day? We're high school students. We're high school friends. We all wanted to, uh, we all, we all wanted to, we all wanted to and managed to get to the academy, thankfully. Well, not Zippy. Yeah. Rip Zippy. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, no, he's not dead. He's just not into the whole sex concept of the job. He wants to be a heart surgeon. Ah, that type of guy. His parents are kind of disappointed in him, too. We've created a, we've created a secret society among ourselves. We mostly just hang out and play games. We call ourselves the E. We call ourselves the EFD. EFD? Ears for days. They all do a synchronized head shake to show off their big floppy ears. That's actually kind of cute. Thank you. So you're a bunch of weird nerds playing horny games. Um, we prefer the word geeks. Not the loser pronouns. We're looking for more members at the moment. Care to join? I always wanted to try it and in ever since I found out found out about it two minutes ago, but I don't have any nerd friends, so I don't know. We have snacks. Huh. Huh. Well, why didn't you say so? What kind? Fips? What the hell are those? Let me try. A fish flavored chips. Ew, what the fuck? What whoa, what who what why that's atrocious? I like them. Whatever, tasteless nerds or not, you're first year, so I highly suggest you stop messing around and go explore the campus a little. You can play games later. This cat being the voice of reason? Incredible. But we can't leave now. Lord Bergamots just got resurrected. If we don't stop him now, he will destroy the world. If we don't defeat him, I can't have a dragon husband. That does sound pretty serious. But we don't want to stand between you and the end of the world. Or laying with a dragon. Wait. Ugh. Sign. Sign. What? Sign. L list. Give them the list. What li- Oh, strudels, I already forgot. Damn you and your high energy today. It's like, you know, water time. And we are back. The cat puts on a pair of sunglasses and found- Sunglasses found on the stranger's table, and all of a sudden the whole atmosphere changes. <clears throat> Listen here, nerds. Uh, geeks. We'll get to losers if you say that again. First off, I'd say it's nice to meet you all, but I don't want to want to I don't want to get attached since you're not going to last this long last this long this way. They seem concerned. I mean, he did just tell them they'll die soon, so I'll have to be honest. I've sent by I've been sent by the higher ups to deliver you the bad news. The higher ups, the seniors, sure them. Well, what is it? Do you think it's Monty? I already gave him my lunch money. Me too. I think I forgot. Damn it, dude, we're gonna get water balloon for this. Sorry. Shut up and listen. Here's the thing. You all look scrawny, pathetic, and overall beaten up by life itself. Hey! No, no, he's right. Oh. You have no fashion sense, consume the worst snack brands, and you stink of masturbation lotion. And not the good kind. On top of that, you're wasting a perfectly good day. One of the most exciting days of your lives, of your lives mind you. You're all a bunch of disappointments that are fated to die alone. Where is this going? I think he just wants to insult them. They stand in silence for a second, looking stunned at the cat and his harsh words. 
Instead of cries of protest, the guys in front of us shed actual tears. I'm more surprised by their coordinated emotions and the actual outburst. Not to mention thankful that the funky rock was cut by the sudden silence. And how does he know? That sums up my whole life. I just want a girlfriend. Damn you, Monty, and your perfect sex life. Um, but what can we do, Mr. Purple Cat? I don't want to die alone. Do not fret. I was just one. I was once. I was just. I was black. I was once just like you. Really? But you look so cool. Those extravagant clothes and sunglasses. Hey, do I look like a liar to you? They exchange unsure glances through their through their previous tears of realization. No. Exactly. So listen close. The five guys lean in and listen carefully to the cat, who's spouting em who's spouting empty but attention catching words from start to finish. Everything can change. And I'm here to do just that. Now tell me, how many of you are first years precisely? All of them except the caracal raise their hands. He looks around like he had committed a crime as he notices the others, ra others raised hands. The boss, lo the boss lowers his sunglasses. Are you talking to yourself now? He approaches the unsuspecting feline. The others take a couple steps back, leaving the poor caracal just inches away from the crazy cat. With his knitted sweater and nervous pose. He still sees himself as a mighty predator, doesn't he? No, sir. And tell me, what year are you supposed to be in? I am um, second year? I'm part of the Defender's Shard. Ha! I see. Tate holds the poor boy's chin and inspects his head on all sides, letting go a second after, he, after unimpressed. I'll come back to you. Now, how many of you possess magical abilities? All of them raise their hands, and the caracal relaxes for the moment. Good. And how many of you are members of the Sorcery Shard as of today? Nobody raises anything. Tate slams the table with his hands, leaning in and scaring everyone again. Here is your first mistake. You're all wasting their efforts and abilities. There? Your parents. Societies. Monty's. Not Monty. How can you ever look at any, how can you ever look any of them in the eyes while defaming their legacy? You're playing a fantasy game about being superhero adventurers, but you do not realize... You can be that in real life. Don't you want to achieve that goal? Don't you want to fuck a dragon in real life? Hell yeah! And possibly get normal partners along the way as well? I slowly nod. And how are you going to stop being losers if you don't learn to touch grass and use your best weapons against nightfalling? Magic! So far he managed to make them to make the, to make three of them quiet cry twice, and one of them vibrate with the prospect of courting a dragon. I thought these were considered adults in your kind. He's like, no? All right. Oh my god. Jesus, Tate. They are fascinating. <laughs> I, want, I want to join the sorcery shard. You, you want to join? Most of them nod vigorously. There we go, changing our minds, huh? A little late for that. What is he doing? Late? I don't even know what to say. Demand is pretty high. I'd be really lucky to get in at this point. But it's only been a day, and that's too late. People got in line months ago. Please, Mr. Cat, I need to get in. I can't bring, I can't afford to bring shame on my family's name. I want to have super cool magical adventures in real life. I want to impress cute girls with my magic. I want to impress cute guys with my magic. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Here, sign your name on this list, and I might be able to convince the leader of the Sorcery Shard to let you in. Although it's not a promise. You'll owe me after this. Thank you! We are so grateful! We are in your debt! Long live our Purple King! Four first years sign our list. I'm just standing there flabbergasted. I'm surprised as well. He's really good at manipulating, which I thought was my area of expertise. Even those five seem dumber than freshly birthed cubs. Aren't nerds supposed to be highly intelligent? Smart, not wise. Ah, that explains the whole you situation. What's that supposed to mean? You know. Maybe hanging around this cat won't be as bad as I thought. Well, I'm glad we've got all this sorted out. I guess we'll see all of you, see all of you at, the, uh, at the auctions. Auditions, not auctions. Oh my god. Come on, Tate. Let's go and... Hold on. Tate stares at the caracal with squinted eyes. Yes, I'm assuming that's what they look like under the glasses. Oop. 
All right, I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.